Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Oh, this is bomb bad. You are badass. Ultra Maximus back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at another Transformers figure and it's from the last night it's the Voyager class Megatron now this was a figure I've been wanting since uh, the release of this wave and uh, I, I've never seen it in the store I got this for Christmas and uh, I'm really really excited I think this was the best looking of all the versions of Megatron in this line um, I really like the jet mode of the leader class, but I hated the head sculpt. I thought this looked the best from all the pictures, and I'm real excited to take a look at this guy. It looks like it might have some really cool light piping. I guess we're going to see. So let's go ahead and kick it off and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Megatron in the packaging, and it's pretty much the same kind of uh, box style that we've gotten for the Voyager classes in the rest of the line. Although I got to say, this one feels a little cheap. Um, it feels like the cardboard is a little more papery and almost feels like knockoff, really. Uh, when I first picked it up, that was my first thought. Uh, but definitely uh, cool looking artwork. I definitely dig it there. We have Megatron in there. It says Transformers. It's Premier Edition. All of the figures in this line were Premier Edition for some weird reason. Um, it's got the Cybertronian artwork um, like writing up here at the top. Um, we get this really cool uh, artwork of Megatron down here. I wonder if we can get him in that pose. I'm kind of interested to see. It's got Transformers Last Night down at the bottom. On the side of the package, we get artwork of Megatron. We get a little Decepticon symbol down there. It says he is a merciless tyrant in a bunch of different languages. They should have done it in Cybertronian, too. I think that would have been fun. And then uh, this side of the packaging, uh, it really just kind of continues the artwork around. And it says he's a Voyager-class figure, Transformers, Decepticon logo, Destroyed City, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Stuff. So just kind of a close-up. There it is. He's a Premier Edition figure. There's Megatron. There's the Cybertronian. It says Transformers on the side. And uh, we get this artwork that I really do dig. I think that's pretty cool looking. And it says Megatron, Transformers. And then uh, the artwork kind of continues around there. And then here's the artwork again. Look, more art. And it says Merciless Tyrant because he's evil. He's Megatron. And he's bad. And he's a Decepticon. Did you know that? But you didn't. Here's the back of the packaging. Um, there he is in his robot mode. Um, there he is in the jet mode. Uh, Hound is the wave mate, which I've already reviewed. If you'd like to see that review and haven't checked it out, I'll add a card to this video. But the interesting thing about this guy is, uh, you know, he turns into a, a robot to a jet in 22 moves. But that's not what's really interesting. What's interesting to me is that if you look at the figure itself, it looks like there's light piping um, on the back of the art. Um, look how bright and brilliant that is. So I'm hoping there is some really cool light piping Hello, hound, um, on the figure. I think that would be really, really cool. So there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and get Megatron out of the box and see what we think. So here we have Megatron out of the packaging, and it's a gray robot with a gray background. That works well, doesn't it? Oh, well. <laughs> Now, this thing is actually pretty cool. While it does not have the articulation that the Hound figures got, this thing has a lot of detail to it and some pretty interesting choices for transformation. Um, lots of nice sculpt work. Uh, I will say there are a couple things that kind of eh about me uh, with it, and it, they're just minor gripes, uh, mainly because there's so many intricate pieces that... I think would break with a kid. So this is definitely not a figure for a small child because I could easily see that parts breaking on it and making the child cry and all that kind of good stuff. And you don't want that. So definitely get the one step for the kid because this is going to be for a kid probably at least 10 and up. 
Now that being said, having looked at all the Megatrons out in the stores, looking at the leader class, and now having this one in hand, I've got to say this is my favorite Megatron from the movie line. And uh, the, the biggest problem I've got with these figures are the heads. The face sculpts are just, ugh, ugh. Um, This one is the best, I think. Uh, looking at it, just get a close-up really quick. I'll do close-up shots. Uh, a little bit later as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, he looks evil. He looks he looks kind of like the modern version of Ganon from uh, The Legend of Zelda. But the problem is, and if you look at the box, it's it's the way the toys are designed. The bottom lip or the upper lip should be a lot bigger, the nose smaller, and then these horns on the side of the head should be bigger and go up straighter. Um, the, uh, that's the way it looks in the artwork, which looks cool. Translated into plastic like this, it just doesn't look quite right. I mean, he looks evil, but it doesn't look as cool as the art on the boxes. And then that being said, the other gripe I've got is more with the movie than the actual toy itself is why did he change his name back to Megatron? It was Galvatron. Why go back to Megatron? I, I just, I don't get it. And uh, they have zero explanation for the uh, entire change of design and alternate mode and the fact he's gone back to the old style transformation. They just totally forgot about the Age of Extinction, which I'm sure a lot of fans have done as well. Again, with the gripes out of the way, uh, the one thing I will say is cool, he does get his uh, arm cannon back, which nowhere near as big as what we're used to seeing with Megatron, but it's cool that it's there, and I do gotta say, I like the jet mode. Now, as far as articulation on the figure, uh, again, it's not as good as Hound, but it's not bad either. Um, his head is on a ball joint, so it can look up and down like that. It spins around. Um, he's got a swivel at the upper arm. Uh, the arms do go up. There is uh, an armor piece that pops up to allow for the shoulders to come out, which is very, very nice. I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, they have a twist at the upper arm. There is a hinge. Uh, joint at the um, elbow. It's actually a double jointed elbow, which is very uncommon for a transformer. There is nothing at the waist as far as articulation go. The hand does move down, but that's mainly for transformation. The uh, cannon can switch over to the side, so if he wants it kind of back, um, he can, and then he can deploy it there, which is very cool. These armor pieces all fold out on his skirt, which is nice. That allows for the legs to move. He can kick that far forward. Um, he can kick pretty far back. He can kick outwards really, really well. There's a twist at the upper leg. Um, he does have a hinge joint at the knee that goes really, really far back, which is uh, nice. Um, he does have some uh, movement at the um, foot. It's right actually up here. It's not actually at the um, ankle itself. And it does have ankle pivot. Uh, again, that's mainly for transformation, but it's still there and we love it! And of course, this being his widest possible stance with both feet still flat on the floor. Taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the sculpt work on this guy. I think they did a really good job with it. While I'm not the biggest fan of the head, for what it is, it looks very, very cool. I like the asymmetrical design on the upper armor and on the shoulder armor. They're very different from one another. I love the light piping in this figure. I think it looks really, really nice. The dark gray, the charcoal gray metal colors, very cool. He's got a backpack, but that's okay. It hides uh, some of that jet um, that we've got on there. And the way the thing's designed, unfortunately, he doesn't have any waist uh, rotation, but uh, eh, it is what it is. But it definitely looks cool. He looks like a bad guy. He looks very uh, Nordic, uh, very Norse uh, godlike, like he should be battling Thor rather than Optimus Prime. But I kind of get where they're going, the whole knight thing. Yeah, I get it, the last knight. Now take a look at the midsection of the figure. Again, love all the details on there. The sword is pretty cool. It looks like it did in the movie, which is very, very nice. Um, again, I like the asymmetrical design on the armor on the forearms, but that kind of disappears with the rest of the figure. He starts going more symmetrical. I like the gold paint apps on the figure, especially with the gun and the forearms. Um, there's some other little spots here and there with the gold paint 
that you can see. I like how uh, the, the skirt around him uh, actually has part of the rockets uh, built into it, which is very, very cool. Um, not really rockets, they're more intakes, I guess, than rockets, but uh, very nice that they added that in there. But all the gold detail really pops out onto this figure. Um, I would like to take another one of these and do some custom work. I think you could pull a lot of really cool detail with this guy. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Um, again, I love how the boosters kind of hang down as part of the skirt. The other thing that's very cool is the wings of the jet wrap around the legs. I love that design. I think that works really well. He's got these big three-toed kind of hooven type of feet, which is interesting. He stands pretty well. And the way it des it's designed and transforms, you can get him in some pretty dynamic poses, which is very, very cool. And again, I just love how the wings, those flat wings, give it a really boxy look around uh, those legs. Um, very, uh, uh, you know, again, kind of hoovy looking, almost like a minotaur, which might be what they were going with on this figure. I'm not sure, but I can definitely see that pattern. Now, one last play gimmick I wanted to show on the figure was the light piping. Looking at the back of the box, it looked like it potentially had light piping, and looking at the figure, it does. I was real excited about this. Uh, let me turn the flashlight on my cell phone, and aw, oh, doo doo, there it is. It is awesome. Um, let's see if I can get a good, it's kind of hard. It's hard to do this at the same time you're on there, but yeah, as you can see, it does have the light piping. Um, it looks super cool. I am definitely digging that. Uh, we have not seen light piping this nice on a figure in a while, so it was very cool that they did add that into the line. And I gotta say, uh, this is a late entry figure, but uh, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the, the fence on whether I think this is one of the better figures of the year. It's definitely in that top uh, 20. It doesn't make the top 10, I don't know, but I'm definitely having a lot of fun with this toy. For comparison, here we have the Voyager Class Last Night Megatron with his wave mate, the Voyager Class Hound. And as you can see, Megatron is a little bit taller than Hound here, which should be. Uh, it definitely looks very cool sitting side by side, and I can't wait to get this guy up on the shelf with Optimus. It's going to round out my larger uh, figure set for the Last Night uh, figures. Definitely very cool, and uh, you know I'm glad I was actually able to get a hold of it. Uh, I, I've, like I said, this is the first time I've seen one in hand. Never seen the figure out in the wild. And finally, just to show the last night Voyager Class Movie Megatron with the Toys R Us exclusive Movie Megatron. Um, definitely a lot of the same themes. This guy's cannon is a lot bigger, not only in the scale of him, but I think it's actually bigger than the gun that's on there, which is kind of interesting. Now Megatron, of course, being a Transformer, has an alternate mode, and this one's very interesting. It is a slick looking Cybertronian jet which unfortunately we didn't get a lot of in the movie. Uh, there was supposed to be a scene that got uh, dumped. It was uh, gonna be an air battle over France and over the Eiffel Tower, which uh, really showed Megatron's alternate mode off, but we did not get that in the film. Unfortunately, I think that would have been very, very cool. But alas, uh, only the mind can tell what could have happened. So let's go ahead and transform Megatron into his jet mode and see what we think. Megatron in his jet mode and as you can see this thing this back piece right here just takes all kinds of wiggling and getting into place it's not hard to get in there I just one I forgot the cannon has to come up through the middle here and there's so many intricate little details that uh, I mean it, as I flip together I'm like oh I'm missing two pieces and it, it goes together it just I don't know it's just kind of funny now, looking at it, it really reminds me of a particular Decepticon. It reminds me of Cyclonus. Uh, it really does, especially with these pieces right here. This could really, really be redesigned and repainted into a Cyclonus figure. 
Um, you just have to maybe arc these uh, wing pieces up a little bit and then repaint it and put a new head sculpt on it. And I think that would be very cool if we got a repaint out of that guy. Um, as you can tell, the detail's very, very nice. I like this jet mode. Um, I wish we got to see more of it in the movie. Um, we get the light piping in the red cockpit, which is nice. I wish they would have shown more of that and not had that entire gold piece up there, but just maybe the gold trim would have been cool. Um, that would have been a lot cooler, but alas, they did not. I love this metallic uh, green. I think that looks really cool. Lots and lots of detail everywhere. I like the little trim there. It would have been nice if we got a Decepticon logo on the wings, though. That would have been nice. Overall, I think they did a great job as far as the detail. Very compact, very slick, very, very nice. Uh, we do see the feet. Um, on the wings, but uh, they kind of look like they could be bombs, maybe, I suppose, if they're shaped in uh, the shape of feet. I, I don't know. But overall, not bad. I do like it. I think they did a good job. And again, one of my favorite uh, uh, figures in the line. Now, I think the, um, I even like the little smaller fins right here. Those look really nice. But um, the leader class might have a better jet mode. I know it's got the, the flames coming out in the thrust, but overall, I think uh, for money uh, versus quality, the Voyager has got uh, just as good a jet mode uh, and a lot better robot mode. So is the Transformers The Last Night Voyager Class Megatron something that you want in your Transformers collection? I've got to say... Of all the Michael Bay Transformers Megatron figures, this might be one of the best, if not the best one. It's not the largest figure, but it's definitely one of the better sculpted. I like the design. I like the color pattern. The dark gray charcoal colors with the gold highlights look really nice. The metallic green on those uh, boosters, very, very cool. It poses pretty well. It's not as good as the Voyager Class Hound, but it's definitely up there, which all the Voyager figures that I've dealt with in this line have been very, very good. Um, I'm not a fan of the head sculpt on this Megatron. Um, not this particular one, but the character in general. Um, as far as all the figures go, I think this has the best head sculpt of them. It has some fantastic looking light piping, and you can get him in a very nice dynamic pose, such as I have him here. Um, is this one of the best toys of the year? I, I don't know. I'm uh, still looking at that, and uh, it's definitely in my uh, top favors, that's for sure. I'm definitely digging him. I'm absolutely in love with the toy. I've been posing it around all day, and uh, um, just I, I think this is my favorite pose with it, uh, so I can't wait to get it on the shelf with my Optimus Prime figure. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if you're looking for one Megatron I would probably go with this one over the leader class. I just like this one uh, better. I think it looks better than the leader class one does, and it's cheaper. The problem is it's harder to find. So good luck in the hunt for this Megatron. Uh, but there he is, Megatron, the Voyager class from Transformers The Last Night. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.